Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to talk about ranking up your six-star champions. Shout out to Howl Beast. He gave me the idea for this video, uh, and I thought it was a very good idea. This is a question that people often ask me. Should I rank up this champion or that champion as a six-star to rank two? So let's talk about that for a little bit. Uh, first of all, Right now, I am more of a fan of ranking up your five stars. Okay, so that's where my bias is. I believe that six stars are the future, but we are not there yet. Now, there is a caveat. Uh, as always, with a game this complex, it depends. You'll often hear people tell you that. Uh, when you ask them a question, you know, should I do this? Well, it depends. One of the things that it depends on is your roster and where you're at in the game. Uh, if you have a monster roster and you have a ton of six stars, you have all the five stars uh, that you want, then yes, you might be ready to move on to six stars. Usually people who are at that point don't ask the question whether they should rank up a six star champion to rank two. Uh, if you're getting resources in pretty regularly because it is more expensive to rank up a six star to two uh, than to rank up a five star to rank five. But if you're getting resources in pretty well, you're at the top level of the game, then you already know more than likely that it's fine. That's where you're at in the game. So uh, one of the reasons that I'm more for the five stars is, as I mentioned, because the six stars are more expensive. Uh, also, there's not a lot of ways to get six star SIG stones. And getting a six star awakened at this time is a little bit more challenging than the five stars. Five stars are easier to get. So with that said, here are all of the six stars. I'm on the Aunt May site. It's an awesome site. You guys should check it out. Uh, and this is the pool of six stars currently. So say you are wanting to rank up a six star. Which ones do I think are worthy of rank two, even though I've said that I would rather do five stars at this time to rank five over a six star to rank two? All right, so let's take a look at these champions. And I'm not going to go into detail on each one, don't worry. Uh, but top row, we've got Aegon. He's an awesome champion, but he needs to be awakened with a high SIG. So I would not take him up uh, as a six star unless you're one of those spenders and you're able to awaken him and get him at a high SIG. Uh, Captain America, uh, Captain Marvel movie, great, but I would not take them up. So now we got the second row. And right there, we've got Corvus. He is one that I would say is worthy of a rank two. Definitely worthy. Um, Cull, not so much, especially with them about to change him. Uh, but he wouldn't have been anyway. All right, so going down, we've got Domino over there. Domino is another one that I consider worthy of a rank two. Uh, third row, we've got Ghost. Definitely, she is worthy of a rank two. Now, these champions, so far I've mentioned Corvus, I've mentioned Domino, and I've mentioned Ghost. These are very versatile, and they benefit from going to rank two greatly. And like with the case of Ghost, very versatile. Even if you have five-star versions of these champions, I would still consider them worthy of taking to rank two. All right. Uh, going down here, um, looking at the fourth row, don't really see anybody that I would consider taking to rank two personally. Uh, then we've got uh, the next row here. Uh, Namor is great, but... Needs to be awakened with a high SIG. Omega Red, same thing. Very good. Uh, Red Hulk, nice. I would not take him to rank two, though. 
All right, next row, looking down, Sentinel. I love Sentinel, uh, but he needs to be awakened. Now, uh, well, let me let me correct that. He doesn't need to be awakened, but he benefits very, very much from his awakening. I took my Sentinel to rank five as a five star unawakened, and I really want him awakened. <clears throat> All right. Um, but he would also be worthy of a rank two, in my opinion. All right. And going down the list here, don't see anybody else. And then finally, at the last row, uh, thing is awesome, but I would say I would not take him to rank two unless he was awakened. Now, he doesn't need to be awakened, but he benefits so much from it that I would not take him to rank two. Uh, unless he was awakened as a six star and preferably he needs to have a high sig it makes him so much better all right and going down here uh venom i love venom and just because i like him i might consider taking him to rank two just for fun all right um then you have void now void really needs to be awakened and I certainly wouldn't take him up without being awakened. And really, I doubt I would take him up as a six star, even if he were awakened. Uh, next, you've got Warlock. I like Warlock, I really do. But unless you have a need for him and he has great utility, uh, I would rather take a five star at this time up overtaking Warlock to rank two. All right, so there you have it. Those are my thoughts on these champions as six stars, uh, which ones I think are worthy of a rank two, but I still don't believe in taking six stars to rank two at this time, unless you are at that level in the game where your roster is just huge. And you are at that point where you need to start investing in six stars. All right, so that's going to do it. Hopefully this helps you guys out, uh, answers the questions that uh, I am asked about six stars, taking them up to rank two. Uh, my default answer is no. Rank up your five stars, build up a strong five-star roster first. Uh, but with the caveat, of those champions that I mentioned, um, especially Corvus, Ghost, and Domino. If you have those, I would consider taking those to rank two. All right, so that's gonna do it. Hopefully you found this educational. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.